In 1066, William, Duke of Normandy, took control of England. His conquests had a significant impact on both regions' histories, uprooting most of the Anglo-Saxon nobility before the conquest and changing the English language. William I, Duke of Normandy, reigned 1027-1035, was the son of Robert I, Duke of Normandy and a woman named Herleva. William had two half-brothers, Edo, Bishop of Bayeux, and Robert, who became Count of Martin. Welcome to Hallmark History and let's see why William the Conqueror reign become the turning point in British history but first don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. William launched a series of campaigns to expand his territory, including an attack on England in 1066. William was related to King Edward the Confessor of England. He may have been declared his son-in-law. King Edward is a man of prayer and become a saint. Following the death of Edward the Confessor in January 1066, Harold became the new monarch of England. William soon started preparations for an invasion. Norman writers claim that both Edward and Harold had promised William that he would succeed to the throne of England. On the night of September 27th and 28th, 1066, William's army sailed over the English Channel as King Harold marched to the north to repel an invasion force commanded by King Harold Hardrada of Norway, ranged in 46 to 1066, and Harold Godwinson's own brother, Tostig. The English marched south to Hastings, close to Pevensey, where they were routed by the Norman force on October 14, having fought and killed Harold Hardrada and Tostig. After that, William continued on into southeast England. On Christmas Day 1066, he was installed as the monarch of England in Westminster Abbey. William originally adhered to the monetary and governmental structures established by earlier English kings, including issuing writs in Old English. The Earls E. Wine and Morcar were among the English nobility who revolted against Norman authority in England in the late 1060s. In retaliation, William devastated substantial portions of the nation's north. He also ousted a number of English bishops from their positions in 1070 and installed Normans or his friends in their places. The victory in the Battle of Hastings is credited to William. The Anglo-Saxons were not recognized for their stone construction, and throughout the first half of the 11th century, they had not adopted the new architectural style, now known as Romanesque, that had gained popularity on the continent. In contrast, during the reign of William the Conqueror, Scores of new abbeys were constructed and historic cathedrals were rebuilt in Normandy. This movement spread to England after the conquest, starting with the reconstruction of Canterbury Cathedral in 1070. In the 11th century, there were 15 cathedrals in England. Nine of them have been rebuilt by the time of William's death in 1087, and the remaining six had been done so by the time of Henry I's death in 1135. Every significant abbey shared this characteristic. It was the biggest upheaval in English ecclesiastical building history. King William commissioned a survey at Christmas 1085 to determine who owned land and other assets in England. The outcome of this administrative study was the Doomsday Book. He continued to lead military operations in what is now France as well. He became ill while invading Mans, 52 kilometers, 32 miles, west of Paris and passed away on September 9, 1087. William Rutherfus, William the Conqueror's second son, succeeded him as King of England, reigned 1087 to 1100, while Robert Curthos, his eldest son, succeeded him as Duke of Normandy, died 1134. In 1100, Henry, the third son, ascended to the throne as Henry I of England. This is Corfe Castle built by King William. This was devastated during the English Civil War. Thank you for watching Hallmark History and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.